India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi presided over the inauguration of a newly built Hindu temple in the city of Ayodhya, but it's coming under controversy as critics say this temple was constructed on the site of a 16th century mosque destroyed by Hindu nationalists in the early 90s. CNN's Vedika Sood has more for us from India. This temple nearing completion in India's holy city of Ayodhya has divided the nation. Built on contested land, the construction of the Ram Mandir is said to have cost about $180 million and is seen as a political win for Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. It's also widely expected to help him secure a historic third term in office later this year. But why are these 1.12 hectares of land so controversial? To understand, we need to go back hundreds of years. In the 16th century, the land was home to a mosque, the Babri Masjid. But Hindus believed this site is where Lord Ram, one of the most revered deities in Hinduism, was born. They say the mosque was built on the ruins of an old Hindu temple. As the dispute escalated in the 19th century, authorities sealed the mosque to both Muslims and Hindus. In the early 1980s, a group of Hindu nationalist organizations, which included Modi's Bharatiya Janata Party, started a movement to build a new temple at the site. A campaign which stirred strong emotions in India ramped up in 1989. The issue is credited with helping the BJP win more than half the seats in the 1991 state elections in India's most significant Hindu vote base, Uttar Pradesh. One year later, right-wing Hindu mobs stormed the site and demolished the mosque. It sparked some of the worst violence in India since its independence with more than 2,000 people killed in riots around the country. In 2019, after decades of legal battles, India's Supreme Court issued a ruling that said the destruction of the Islamic structure was an egregious violation of the rule of law, but granted Hindu groups permission to build a temple there while giving the Muslim community another plot of land, officially ending the dispute. But the ruling was seen as a blow towards India's Muslim minority, many of whom say the government sees them as second-class citizens. A few months later, Modi laid the foundation stone for the Ram Mandir. Since then, the city of Ayodhya itself has undergone a full infrastructural makeover. It has a new airport and its roads, railways and other historical sites have been revamped. 